welcome to the podcast uh, today we'll be delving into the topic of unveiling ai from inspiration to implementation it's a part of an initiative from mit wpu uh, my name is sanya deshmukh i'm a student of mit uh, wpu itself and we're thrilled to have dr anand j kulkarni sir with us dr anand has an impressive background in artificial intelligence and distributive optimization holding a phd from nanyang technological university in singapore and a masters from the university of regina in canada he has worked as a postdoctoral uh, research fellow at the odette school of business university of windsor canada and since 2021 he has been a research professor and associate director at the institute of artificial intelligence at mit wpu in pune india dr anand's research is at the cutting edge of ai focusing on nature inspired optimization algorithms and self organizing systems He's pioneered several innovative optimization methodologies like cohort intelligence and the ideology algorithm. With over 80 research papers and numerous books to his names, he has guided uh, countless students in their academic journeys as well. Uh, he's also the lead series editor for Springer and Taylor and Francis and serves as an associate editor for several prestigious journals. Among his many accolades, uh, Dr. Anand has received the best paper award at IEEE ICNSC at Chicago and the Swatantra Veer Savarkar award for his Marathi book on artificial intelligence. Uh, we can't think of a better personality to have on our podcast series on AI and the way forward. So welcome to the podcast sir. We're really de- delighted to have you. Uh, so artificial intelligence or AI for short is transforming our world at an incredible pace. Uh, from the way we consume media to the future of transportation ai is playing an undeniable role in everything but what exactly is ai and perhaps more importantly uh, what is how is automation that is powered by ai impacting our lives and shaping the future to answer these questions and many more we're thrilled to have dr anand sir with us today so let's dive in so first and foremost sir what exactly is artificial intelligence and machine learning and why has it been gaining popularity over the past decade okay uh, sanya thank you very much for a uh, nice introduction it's an honor for me um see artificial intelligence is all about converting natural intelligence into a uh, computer program okay more specifically i would like to mention that we see the intelligence in nature mm. okay maybe birds ants even human we convert their behavior into mathematical model and then once it is validated we convert that mathematical model into computer program and this makes the computer programs behave like natural systems okay so this is basically converting in the natural intelligence to artificial intelligence right now it is gaining popularity is not by today itself but then uh, the journey started way back from the first industrial revolution mm-hmm. where actually the uh, motor is invented and several machines are Uh, into practice solving uh, different problems for example rotation of wheels and so many other things okay right. later on as the automation uh, era uh, actually geared up using the computer technology mm-hmm. automation actually started and it has uh, gain kind of uh, uh, fast pace then the artificial intelligence itself actually make the systems learn by themselves and solving the problems by themselves rather than the human intervention so this is actually increasing the accuracy uh the precision you can say uh the fast time and better output so this is what we expected every day life uh not only uh with the the, the areas that you mentioned like transportation and all but in healthcare as well uh, defense manufacturing and so on so that is why it is gaining popularity another important thing is that world is all about competition mm-hmm. india wants to be better than other countries other like china may be better than they want to be better than us us want to be better than germany in manufacturing so they because of this competition there is a, uh, a competition in developing new technologies so ai is one of the technologies actually becoming a driver for this that is why it is getting more popularity and what role does ml or machine learning algorithms have in this Uh, entire system of AI. <clears throat> okay, so artificial. See, mathematics is one umbrella. Right. Below that, this artificial intelligence, and mm-hmm. below that one is machine learning. Okay, so machine learning plays with the data. Mm-hmm. So whatever data is available with us. For example, uh, suppose we take the traffic intersections outside. So how much vehicles are coming at what directions? 
at what lanes. So that can be counted, that can be recorded and those data can be utilized to have better timing for mm -hmm. the red light, amber light and green light. So this is for making the systems much better. Right. For that, for that, machine learning algorithms play a role by which they find the patterns of how uh, long, how much vehicles uh, run in particular lane, how much time they wait at what time. So that kind of patterns are found using machine learning algorithms. That is why those are getting more popular these days because they are connected with our day to day problems and solving our problems. Lovely. That is why machine learning uh, is playing better role. For example, one more example I would like to give you Definitely. here is that, uh, is that see, nowadays water scarcity is a big problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bangalore already facing problem. Uh, Pune, hopefully, uh, we hope we will not face it. But then in the future there could be a problem. Okay, then how to curb it? How to check the uh, water usage? Okay, how can we do that? One thing is that. Uh, maybe we can see, uh, look uh, look for the leakage or, around the city. Okay, that is one thing. Second thing is that there is one app developed by the Australian U University professor N. Guen. So that app, what it does is that it checks how much is the water usage per family, per house. Now my family is having three people. Mm -hmm. So how much usage I am having uh, for maybe for drinking, for maybe. Uh, for maybe bathing, okay, maybe for some other usage. And then similarly, what others are with, with a similar three people, four people family, how much they are consuming. Right, like and, a yeah, and then it gives the pattern that, okay, see, Pulkani is using maybe uh, uh, 150 liters every day for maybe drinking, okay, maybe for some other. So this way the patterns are generated and it, it gives me advice. Mm -hmm. See, you are using more water as compared to some other families in the neighborhood of the similar capacity. So this is why machine learning are playing a very uh, pivotal role in everyday applications, solving our problems. Definitely. So, you know, as you just mentioned, AI and ML, they finally need to make our life simple. So this is basically a synonym for automating certain daily processes. So do you feel that automation and AI also have some sort of correlation? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. See, earlier automation was based on sensors. Right. Okay. Um, I'd like to give you one example, okay, that is on wildlife conservation, okay. Why we want automation there also is because I can tell you in earlier case, earlier, okay, you go about 15 years back or maybe 10 years back also. The cameras were installed, okay, in some jungle at near a pond, okay, where they, they keep recording 24 hours, okay. And then after 24 hours, somebody goes there, a ranger goes there, he takes out the, the CD, recorded CD or cassette, puts another one replaces the battery, goes into office and see, okay, uh, was there any uh, animal was there or whatever, okay. Then he classifies, uh, this was tiger, this was uh, elephant, whatever. The next step was automation in the sense that there was a sensor. Sensors we will uh, keep sensing if something is around, otherwise the, the camera will not start, okay. So the, the battery will be saved. Mm. Then all if there is some change in the scenario around, suppose there is one big animal came, the sensor makes the camera start and look for, I mean, start the recording. Correct. That is one thing. Second, so that becomes first step towards automation. Hmm. Second is that nowadays what AI is doing, of course there is a sensor, but then if there is a significant movement, it starts recording, okay. It understands or it classifies whether that's a tiger, whether that's an elephant, or that that was uh, a, a dog, okay, and then it it informs the rangers. Mm. One more important one step ahead is that it keeps recording the sound around also. So if there is a bullet firing sound, it gives the recording to the ranger right away that at this location there was a bullet firing sound. If there is a wood logging sound, it records, it, it sends there. So this is kind of rather than taking all the recording back to the ranger's office and then look for it for 24 hours recording. Mm -hmm. we get the information right away. Right. So this is one step much better uh, than the earlier automation. Now we are, that's what I said, we are going into a complete automation stage. Right. Lovely. Uh, so now our audience may or may not know, but our esteemed university MIT WPU has its very own Institute of AI. So could you tell us more about it and the role that you play in this institute? <coughs> okay. So, um, 
Institute of Artificial Intelligence hmm. uh, was founded in June 2021. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, myself and two other faculties are there. Okay. So they are um, expert in AI. We have several students as well. But then those students are not only from computer engineering or computer science background, mm -hmm. but they are from electronics engineering background, they are from uh, BBA background, education department background, and then they, some of them are from other universities also, they are also joined with us. Here what we do is we are completely into research in the sense that we develop algorithms, we develop the methods who, which can be employed for a commercial software, for a commercialization. For example, as, as, I, as I earlier mentioned that we convert the natural intelligence into artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay, So what we do is that we see the intelligence in nature. For example, very recently we have published uh, or we have worked on one algorithm which is based on snails. So how snails do their homing, how they find the home, how they find the food, how they find the mate and how they reproduce. Okay, So this is all we studied, we mathematically modeled their behavior. And then we convert it into computer program. And now that natural intelligence is converted to artificial intelligence. Okay. Right. Using this AI based method, mm -hmm. AI based algorithm, we have solved the problems from uh, heat exchanger design, okay, which uh, can be applied for the entire building or maybe a small household as well. So this is one uh, algorithm that is developed and applied. Another thing is that we worked on uh, politically motivated systems algorithm that because it is considered as a kind of swarm. Okay, So swarm intelligence we developed, uh, we modeled and we solved different problems. So basically we do a very fundamental research in AI mm -hmm. which can be useful uh, to solve almost all kinds of problems. We, uh, we also call them as a meta heuristic algorithms. Lovely. So basically this is you can consider as um, an institute who which can uh, which caters to the MIT, not only to MIT WP, but to the outside world also with the fundamental research only. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, just to add one sure. thing. Uh, we do uh, the training to the uh, faculty. We do training to the students also. And so uh, for whenever students approach us, we give them training on AI. Mm. Okay, We make them learn about AI. What is AI? What are the fundamental systems and all? We make them uh, understand it. Mm -hmm. And then we make the students to solve a little problem, which is more significant, which can be published, which can make a good difference for them in their career. Lovely, sir. Yeah. So when you are tenured uh, in this uh, prestigious institute, uh, what kind of research projects have you, uh, you know, personally worked on or any some publications <coughs> and a lot of uh, yeah, 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 yeah. books yeah. that you've mentioned? So, um, see, we have published several um, research papers right. uh, and the books as well. So just to mention a few of them, uh, some of the, uh, one of the books is on journalism. Right. Okay. So uh, journalism is the area where AI is being used. Right. Okay. Uh, not, I, I cannot say that it is used in a full fledged way, right. but then um, it is true that it is being used for content generation. It mm -hmm. is being used for uh, uh, citizen journalism and all. So we have explored that area and we have documented it in a, in a book form. Second is that whatever we do, the, the research we do, okay, we take the students with us. But then we published uh, so far in past about three years, mm -hmm. we have published about 11 books, uh, which are in a prestigious publisher house such as Springer, uh, Taylor and Francis. And then we have published several uh, research papers. We make the students to write. We teach them how to write the paper and then they go about it. One thing I would like to exclusively mention is that uh, since 2021, we are uh, conducting conference in the MIT WP, which is international conference, mm. uh, which is on intelligence systems. Mm. So um, first conference was a kind of umbrella where uh, it was about only intelligence systems. It was in Springer and several people from all over the world contributed there. In 2000, uh, and, I mean 2022, the conference that we did, it was uh, based on the smart city, intelligence systems for smart city. Very recently, we uh, had a conference on agriculture. Uh, internet systems in agriculture and now in the upcoming year 2025 mm -hmm. we'll be having conference on cyber security oh, yeah. so this way we are coming up with uh, several editions uh, by which uh, making aware uh, the world uh, not only mit wpu uh, about internet systems make the students work on it and we are there to guide them definitely 
Thank you so much, sir. So this brings us to the end of session one. So in the next session, we'll be talking more about smart cities and how AI can be uh, implemented and useful in smart cities as well. So stay tuned for the next session. And thank you so much, sir, for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you.